Hey there again folks, welcome back to New Day, New Game. Today we're playing Insert Paper. Please don't actually insert any paper into your computer or your phone or anything, uh, because that would be kind of strange. Not that you would. Silly joke. Anyway, uh, let me pick something. Um, I would like to thank the folks over at Star Trimming and Droid Riot for letting me try this game out for free. I, um... Uh, I believe this is a horror game. <laughs> I'm not absolutely sure. But I believe this is a horror game. Uh, from the screenshots on Steam. And just with the way this is set up. It feels very horror-ish. Let me turn that down just a little bit more. Come on now. There we go. I think that's a bit better. This is a very interesting way to do this, but it is a little, uh, a little painful to do. Oh, as far as the option screen, I don't know how the game will be, but the options with it shifting around like that, it does make it a bit annoying to to actually change options and stuff. But anyway, let's get into it. Let's see what this is. There's only two pot. Th th I mean, there's only two reviews on Steam. Uh, and this game's been out for almost two years, so, um, yeah, I don't, I have no clue what to expect. Whether it be a good experience, bad experience, or scary game, or what, because there's no user tags either, so, it only says indie when I checked. So, uh, so yeah, what is on TV? An old TV show? I can't actually hear it, so. Hmm. I think I can hear it better when it turns sideways. Got me some soda here. Did I try clicking on the TV. Okay. Oh! Oh, that is, uh, that was a guy from, uh, Psycho, Anthony Perkins. How do I remember that name? I'm, I'm surprised I can remember this guy's name. Maybe I need to turn that up. Maybe I need to turn it up just a little bit. Well, now I can't turn it up. Dang it. Here, let me... Let me turn it up real quick. Hopefully this is not... Oh, I can't turn it up anymore. Okay, well, I guess it's the, I guess it's the uh, volume that it is. Well, can, can I... Okay, good. It goes back to here. Yeah, okay. You see, the the problem with going into these blind is, if if I, it, it's a weird mix of uh, trying to be doing good production value and trying to make a good uh, video. Of what I like, to see. I like to see people react completely blind. You know. Okay, I'm able to hear. It. Okay, I can hear the TV now. I can hear a, I can hear the ambience a lot louder now. Okay, I won't I won't actually wa bother watching TV. Oh, we got trees outside. Trees outside. What is that? Is that? Open? Was that on the TV? I'm going to assume it's on the TV. Oh, that's a closet. 
that, that that's uh stuff it's coats and shirts hanging up gotcha University of California the regents of the University of California on the nomination of the faculty of the School of Engineering have conferred upon the degree of Bachelor of Science a major in criminalistic with uh, all the rights and privileges uh, thereto pertaining given at Irvine this 11th day of June in the year 1977 hmm okay cool you misspelled uh, you, you left the L out of at all sir it's the police open the door okay I won't ask you again. Open the door now. Who open the door? I want to open the door. E space L. You open this damn door. I want to. I can't. Controls. Left click. Okay, yeah. Yep, left click. I'm yeah, left clicking. Arrested. We're coming in. I want to left click. Okay, I guess that, maybe I wouldn't do that. Six o'clock news. I'm Brian Norton with SSIP News. Our top story today: there was a missing person request that was turned in by local authorities. A white, balding male, around the age of 35, wearing a blue sweater and brown pants, was last seen around noon yesterday. City Square. If you have any information that could aid in the search, please contact the local authorities. In other news, locals of Nevada have been reporting strange noises in the neighborhood. From scratching sounds to screeching, experts think it might be a wild animal that got lost nearby. Investigations are underway. More on that story later. For now, let's take a look at the weather with Tom. Tom? Hmm. The music does seem a bit too loud, I, I think. It, it feels like it's too loud, but maybe it's not, according to the OBS stuff. wonder if ABC News was okay with that being used in the uh, footage there, the logo. Well, I guess I guess I wasn't able to do it. I guess I wasn't able to do anything. Okay. Okay, good. I feel better. That was that that was supposed to happen apparently. I'm not sure what that says. We're watching you. Oh, there's no trees here. Got CDs and cassettes. This this is the past, isn't it? Intro. Property of G Post. No distribution or, co or copy allowed. Okay. Oh. Um, um, okay, he, he does nothing. Well, I can't. It's stuck. What the crap? Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so you can make the grain off. So that is, that is good. I can't, I cannot move. 
I mean, well, obviously I can move, but I can't turn around. I can't actually. Oh, my word. Yeah. Okay, hold escape to quit. Okay, continue. Okay, so good. We may not have to start it all over. I'm assuming it's right after the. Uh, okay, good. Oh my word, what are you supposed to do with this thing? Oh my word. Urgh. Okay, well we can't watch the tutorial. I can't turn around and look, I can't look around with anything on it. Well, okay. That's kind of garbage. Can't drop it. Town. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a second. It did say something about town. Oh, my word. Okay. Well, that's on me. I'll admit that that one is on me. That was me being dumb. Welcome to the GPOSS offices. To get started, you will have to seek out the various files containing personal information. This data was taken from the country's current population. These files will be found in different locations around the rooms, as shown on the screen. Your mission is to fulfill the computer's requests, also shown on screen, with these papers. Hmm. So we're we're getting information, okay? Jacob Rogers, Medford. We got some phone numbers there. I'm assuming not a real person. Hmm. So this is a, kind of like an alternate Cold War situation. Stella Longley. Okay. Got Mary Rogers. Speaks alone. Forgets things easily. Basically me. <laughs> what am I doing again? Hmm. Oh, insert name. First name. Janet. So do I need to get one of these that says Janet? Is, is that what I'm supposed to do? Okay, that should be fairly easy. Hmm. 
No, I don't need. I don't need to play this. Stop. 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 Welcome to the GPOSS offices. Okay. Oh, there's there's ladders up here. Safe box. What is this? Oh. Oh, what? Wait, I have... Oh, that's right, I have... So I guess I'm supposed to put it there? Hmm. Oh, is this supposed to be kind of like my office? Whoa, hey, what is this? Wanted... George something. Hmm. I feel like I should keep those. Ooh, what is this? Huh? Oh. Okay, well. We shall forever be stuck in, you know, in an endless game. Okay, well, I can't, it don't seem like I can adjust it to anything else, so. Okay. Thinking maybe I could adjust it to something else. Can I go through here? Nope. I guess this is kind of like our office or something. Anybody watching me? I hit spacebar to uh, jump up there. It did nothing. Obviously. Hmm, okay. Guess we'll go back. Oh, I have to walk forward. So I'm guessing that, uh, at moments we'll be able to, uh, or there, there'll be doors to that, I'm assuming. Oh, no. Click on it. There we go. Julia, hey! That's what it said, isn't it? Julia. It's Mary Hutton. Pisses the bed? Lives with Grandma? What? That's a very strange thing to put on your... Put on some identification. I am assuming that she did not put that on on the form herself. Otherwise, she is very, very honest. So that'll, I guess, leads back to, into that, don't it? Jacob Hutton. Don't we already have? So we have Jacob Rogers. We have Mary Hutton. Hmm. Can we make copies or something? Interesting. I keep forgetting I have to uh, press tab to put it back in my inventory properly. Here's Larry Rogers reads the terms and conditions of every product. 
Wow. Nine one one. <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. Well, I didn't look in here, did I? There's Janet Smith. Speaks alone, forgets things easily. Jacob Smith. Lots of Jacobs here. First name Janet. Wait, did I? Oh, I, okay. I don't have to. Okay, so Janet. Oh, good grief. Oh, why that door close? Okay, one left. Okay, last name Smith. Oh, well, I have that. I have Jacob Smith here. Safe box three five two eight. Okay. Three five two eight. Three five two eight. Three five two eight. Three five two eight. Let's not forget that. Put in three five two eight before it's too late. Three five two eight. Three five two eight. Don't want to miss that date. Nice. Lebev Delve. Okay. See what let's see what's on here. G pose. I have to say I'm I'm a bit intrigued on it about this game. Allow me to get you up to speed with our offices. Do that. We are in the Soviet state of America, a territory which covers all of 9,828,675 square kilometers. It was attached to the Union of the Soviet Socialist Republics in 1988 after a decade of diplomatic procedures. We are going to initiate the testing protocol. Please follow the computer's instructions to continue. Okay. Did anything change in here? Oh yeah, I gotta remember I can run. No, that's still locked. Hey, there's a room up there. Yo, anybody up there? Guess not. Okay. Hmm. Well, we got we got one thing knocked out. Okay, so I guess this is two. So this will tell something. This will be saying something different, right? Border color green. Last name Longley. Wait. Wait, I don't have any of the files anymore. Are they on the desk over here? Weird. It took all my files. Hmm. Strange. Can I get back behind here? Oh, I can't. There's nothing to do, though. Okay, well, never mind. Well, let's see. Let's go here. Uh, 
And it says the same thing. Okay. Stella Rogers. Hmm. So, is it a good idea to be putting stuff? Harry Rogers. Studies psychology to try to solve personal problems. He is an atheist, but goes to church every Sunday. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I may have screwed up. Stella Smith. Wait. No, Lonely. Lonely is uh, the name I need. Okay. What is that? I can't tell. Yeah, that's right. I did go with the author there. Huh. That actually is very concerning now. Since, uh, guess I don't need to be putting stuff here. That's dumb. You know, if, uh, if I really did lose those. No, they don't respawn. Okay, well, maybe I can go forward and uh, find some in here. So, so I need Longley with a green border. There's a Longley with a red border. Yeah, there's a door here. Oh, no, no. Hey, Janet Hutton. And a Larry Hutton. I had a traumatic experience with baby elephants. Intriguing. I am curious about the traumatic experience that, uh, that he had with a baby elephant. Can't just leave me there. Hmm. Well, now I feel now I have to go in here and put stuff down every time. Okay, that's all of them. Hmm. Yeah, nothing too scary so far. And I can't do anything down there. So, green longly is what I need. Okay. Janet Rogers. Nothing in there. Oh, there is a thing here. Not what I need, though. Jacob Rogers. This one's not going to be it. That, dang. Need a green, dang it. There's a Julia Smith again. Julia Hutton. I'm getting the same, same one over and over again, though, so... I guess I just, yeah, no need to go back yet, I guess. I wonder how many rooms is it, this is going to be. Seems like it, seems like I read that there that it's, uh, uh, a little bit in the description that it's, uh, procedurally generated. Which does make sense. Oh, wow, especially because the fact I can't pick that up. Okay, it's not who I need. 
Janet Hutton, Harry Smith, Jacob Hutton. I'm getting that guy like 50 million times. Oh my, we're going down. What's going to happen down here? Oh. Nothing that exciting. Longley. Hey, hey, hey. That, Jacob Longley. Okay. You know what? Let's, uh, okay, let's step in here. Let's actually hope that stays where it is. I was, that's something I just suddenly... Oh, no. I guess that's all of them. Okay. Okay. Let's hope that that stayed where it was. And it did. Good. Okay, good. What's the next one? Okay, Green Rogers. Oh, boom, right here. Got it. <coughs> Excuse me. Six, seven, four, one. Six, seven, four, one. Yeah, I'll come back here, so I don't need to worry about picking that up. Come on. Come on now. Wait. It won't delete it. Come on. Dang it. This game uh, does have its uh, technical flaws. That's for sure. Will this reset it? Good. Crap. What did it say again? I can't remember. 6753, I think. Isn't it? 6753? We'll see. Hopefully it's still there. 6741. Wow, I was going to be wrong anyway. 6741. 6741. Come on. Come on. Dead gummit. Okay, maybe I need to approach it uh, from another one or something? Or is there, is there something else I need to be using? Let's go up the stairs. Probably actually should have went forward. That probably would have been a smart thing to do. Now that I think about it. Oh, wait, you know what? I, rem I forgot it, didn't I? Oh, crap. What was it again? Oh, my word. I forgot it again. Okay, tell me what it is. Four, seven. Six, seven, four, one. Six seven four one. Six seven four one. Six seven four one. Yeah, I was trying to. I did the hit. <laughs> okay, for some reason now I have to six seven. Four, one. 
Okay, I was having to aim a little bit higher for some reason. I'm trying to play this long enough to see if it's if it is a kind of a horror game. Here will consist on becoming the best bureaucratic employee in the world. The computer Yay. era has already started, although only for governmental use. We've seen the potential computation has in processing great quantities of data. This data is of vital importance for the complete organization of the national economy's general administration. Woo. I care about that thing that they just said completely. Don't. Hmm. Okay, well, let's... Sexually identifies as a Christmas tree. Okay. Not sure how that works. But okay. I guess, uh... I guess chlorophyll really, uh, really turns them on. Loses things constantly. Doesn't know how to cook. Okay. Well, hopefully he doesn't get a uh, a cookbook because he wouldn't be able to keep it. Oh, we're going back up. So this is a room we haven't been in. So Larry Smith. Stella Smith. Where's that? Okay. I don't think that was, I don't, I don't think that's uh, supposed to be that way. <laughs> but okay. Oh, okay. What? This place is very interestingly laid out. Lawrence Longley. Spent entire heritage on a helicopter. Doesn't seem like the wisest uh, decision. Oh, I thought there was one on top there. I guess the that weird stair thing was uh Oh oh I can actually lay things out here. Interesting. Okay. That makes it easier too. Okay, so Larry okay, green uh first name Larry with a green water. Okay. Done. Insert back code. What does that mean? Oh, do I, is it like a, okay, so, first name Larry with green. Do I need like the small version of that? Let's see. Janet. Hmm. What does that say? Dead or Alive, Georgie Vatikos. Okay. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing that's, that might mean something, but I, I have no clue what it means. So. Is that what it said before? Did it say that about the back code a minute ago?
Insert back code. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I need to put... Oh. Well, what's the back code? I did. Does it have to be? It did. Okay, okay, they did it. I just have to put it back in there. Okay. Gotcha. So, Rogers. Green Rogers. Why do I have a Green Rogers in here? Hmm. Boom, right here. Yeah, okay. I, when I when I felt like I had to start over earlier, I probably uh, yeah. It seems like a that was definitely a, an overreaction there. Since yeah, it seems like it, it's just a continual loop, and you can and uh, you'll be able to get another one with uh, the same thing again. So this one is K7. Caps lock is still on. Good, good. K7. Right. Enter. Then do it again. Yeah, doing it again is confusing. Okay, 1546. 1546. And I need to remember, it might not be completely properly aligned. Okay. I need to make a note. Keep repeating it every time. Otherwise, you will forget it. Oh. 1546, 1546, 1546, is that number put in? 1546, 1546, 1546, 1546, 1546. Oh. I didn't actually click the thing a minute ago, did I? Yeah, I don't think I did, did I? So... During the last few years, some problems arose. Nowadays, we have severe food shortages, with citizens waiting in long queues in order to purchase basic necessities. We need to scan all the files from the previous analog system, arranging all the criteria for each American in a database so that we may make a tracing, study each case individually, and keep an eye on them so that we can update and distribute monthly rationing stamps of consumer products. Okay, I don't think this is a scary game. Yeah, I don't think this is. Um, oh, wow, I played this. This is 45 minutes long. Wow. 
Um, yeah, I don't think this is... Yeah, I don't think this is quite a horror game. Even though it is very much done in a style which would make you think that. With the grainy quality and the atmosphere and stuff like that, you would definitely... It would definitely make you think horror. But if this is a scary game, then it is. It is being late with the horror delivery. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, yeah, that, that's going to be it for the video. Yeah, it's. Eh, how much is this game? 99 cents, okay. I don't know, I don't really know what the game is really trying to say. It's interesting, I mean, a situation where the Cold War would have had the United States taken over by the Soviet Union is, a, is definitely an intriguing idea. Uh, you know, there's been movies, you know, like Red Dawn, that, that, uh, they explored them invading anyway. Um, uh, and the concept, the bare concept, makes me think of like, uh, I haven't played them, but I've watched, I, I know, uh, I've watched a Let's Play of, uh, the first Wolfenstein game, the newer one, you know, uh, New Order, I think. Kind of makes me think, you know, the, the concept, of course, the game's w very different, varying quality, of course, too, but the concept of having a game set place, you know, without like, without during it happening, but after it happening is interesting. But, yeah, I just don't know what the game is trying to say, really, you know. Is it like, but our data being so easy for people to get? I mean, yeah, that's, that's something that's, unfortunately, you know, a problem, you know, you go to like, Get on Wi-Fi, you know, uh, someplace. You have to worry about people stealing your information. Got to worry about hackers. You got to worry about cities, you know, getting ransomed, you know, for for stuff. Uh, hacking. Though that's not really information. That's just like, I think that's normally like, you know, just holding like systems, you know, uh, at ransom for money. Rather than, you know, actual information that they're uh, requesting. But, uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't know really what the, uh, the point, the, the, uh, the meaning of the game is. But it's got, it definitely has some work put into it. Uh, whether or not it's, yeah, it's, hmm. Yeah, I, I, I don't really know how to feel about the game, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, I really don't. Honestly, I don't. I haven't hated my time with it. It's not like this has been like, I hate this. Although I was pretty agitated when I realized, until I realized I had to hit tab to put the tape into my inventory. There's a there's a situation. Just don't let the par just re uh, restrict the character from moving, and then they'll have to figure out. They have to put something. They have to do something before they can prog progress. Uh, but yeah, I was missing it. I mean, it says right there. How I was missing that. Um. So yeah, is it worth ninety nine cents? So I don't. I don't know. It, it's up to you. The link will be down in the description, you know, for anybody who might want to check out and see what this game has to offer. But yeah, I feel like this is kind of just going to be kind of doing a tedious task. It hasn't felt that tedious, but it also doesn't really have that, have any, like, um, you know, there, there's games that have you doing tedious tasks that are, that put an interesting twist to it, you know. Like, uh, 
papers, please. You know, you have to check the passports and all, all that stuff, uh, which, you know, comparing, you know, rules and stuff like that. You know, and that is a very tedious task, but then you ha have to think like, th but then you have to make moral decisions, you know, like, this person has, this person is really desperate to get into the country or get out of the country, you know. And you also have to worry about your family at home, you know, whether they're going to die, <laughs> uh, you know, from not eating. So, uh, I guess, die from not eating, I guess I should just simplify it and say starve. <laughs> but anyway, that adds an interesting twist to that. I don't see what a the twist is. Of course, I, I may just require more playing, but I, I mean, I play. I played this for 45 minutes, so so yeah, I'm really not uh, sure when the twist would happen. You know, I mean, it, it did get more complicated where I had to look on the back, but I don't know if complicating. Complicating it just simply for the sake of complicating it is really enough, you know. So anyway, yeah, I, there definitely feels like there could be more with it, more done with it. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, that that's it for the for the video. I do sincerely hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next game. Later, there, folks.